Hello students. In today's video, we are going to study biotransformation of drugs. Biotransformation is also termed as metabolism. Now, this video is the seventh in the series of videos on pharmacokinetics. So, first of all, what is biotransformation? Now, biotransformation or metabolism is a process by which a drug is chemically transformed or modified in the body. Thus, biotransformation is defined as a chemical alteration or modification of a drug in the body. Now, the altered product or the altered drug moiety is called as the metabolite. Now, look at this figure. Now, very important to understand, lipophilic means lipid soluble. Non-polar means not soluble in water. On the other hand, hydrophilic means water soluble. Polar means water soluble. Now, very important to remember that a drug is absorbed and distributed in the body only if, only if it is lipid soluble, only if it is lipophilic. On the contrary, water soluble drug or water soluble metabolites are easily excreted from the body primarily in the urine. So biotransformation reactions are the reactions where lipophilic lipid soluble drugs are metabolized and are converted into water soluble or hydrophilic derivatives. Derivatives are termed as metabolites. Now these metabolites are more water soluble and are easily excreted from the body primarily in the urine or in the feces. Now biotransformation reactions are of two types phase 1 reactions and phase 2 reactions. Now drugs are primarily metabolized in the liver as liver is the main organ of metabolism. Other tissues or the organs where the drugs are metabolized are kidney, intestine, lung and plasma. Now biotransformation or metabolism of drugs leads to uh, inactivation of drug, inactivation of drug and its active metabolite. Uh, that means the drug is, is inactivated and its active metabolite is also inactivated so that the drug is completely removed from the body. For example, ibuprofen, propranolol, 4-hydroxypropranolol. Now here, uh, propranolol produces an active metabolite that is 4-hydroxypropranolol. So both the propranolol as well as hydroxypropranolol are inactivated by the biotransformation reaction so that they are easily removed from the body, so that they are completely removed from the body. Now, in majority of cases, biotransformation causes inactivation of drug and inactivation of all the active metabolites of the drug. Uh, secondly, biotransformation leads to uh, partial conversion of uh, active drug to its active metabolite. Uh, for example, dizepam. Dizepam is a sedative. It's converted to its active met metabolite that is oxazepam. Oxazepam also produces sedative effect. So the sedative effect of dizepam is due to uh, the sedative effect of dizepam and oxazepam. Now thirdly, biotransformation causes activation of inactive drugs. Now inactive drugs are called as prodrugs. For example, enalapril. Enalapril is an antihypertensive drug. It's inactive and it is termed as prodrug. Now in the body, enalapril is activated by the process of biotransformation to enalaprilate. And this enalaprilate reduces blood pressure. Another example is of prednisone. Prednisone is also a prodrug which is biotransformed to its active form that is prednisolone. Uh, now let's uh, see to the classification of biotransformation reactions. Biotransformation reactions are classified as phase 1 reactions and phase 2 reactions. Now let's first talk about the phase 1 reactions. Now in phase 1 reactions, reactions polar functional groups such as hydroxyl OH group, amino NH2 group. Uh, these groups are either added to the drug molecule or these functional groups are exposed. Now this ca causes modification of drug molecule and this results in the production of a slightly polar active or in majority of cases inactive metabolites. Now these uh, metabolites are either excreted as such or these are further metabolized by the phase 2 reactions. Thus, the metabolites which are produced in the phase 1 reactions, they can become substrate for the phase 2 reactions. 
Now, phase 1 reactions include oxidation, reduction and hydrolysis. Now, these reactions are primarily carried out by cytochrome P450 group of microsomal enzymes which are located on the smooth endoplasmic reticulum of the liver. And uh, these enzymes that is the cytochrome P450 group of enzymes are also called as mixed function oxidases. Uh, now, let us talk about the phase 2 reactions. Now, purpose of these reactions is to produce very polar, mostly inactive metabolites that are readily excreted in the urine. Now, these reactions are also called as synthetic or conjugation reactions uh, where a more polar compound is conjugated with a drug or uh, conjugated with the phase 1 metabolite of the drug. So, highly polar that is highly water soluble large molecular weight metabolite is produced and mostly inactive metabolites are produced that are excreted primarily in the urine or in bile uh, that is in the feces. Now, conjugation reactions are glucuronoid conjugation, then acetylation, methylation, uh, sulfate conjugation, glycine conjugation, glutathione conjugation. Now, for description of phase 1 and phase 2 reactions, you can watch my videos on uh, biotransformation phase 1 reactions and uh, biotransformation uh, phase 2 reactions respectively. So, this is a quick overview on biotransformation or metabolism of drugs. If you find the video useful, kindly like, like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.